Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by WindowsLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to configure app passwords to use Gmail with your mail program. I've gotten a lot of emails lately from my students who have complained that as of May 30th, 2022, Google no longer supports the use of third-party apps or devices which ask you to sign on to your Google account using only your username and password. This has been a problem for people who are using custom email programs. You can no longer use them with just your Google account email and password. To enhance security, Google has this new protocol called OAuth 2.0, which they want you to use. It gives you programmatic access to pretty much every Google service, including YouTube and Gmail. It's very powerful. However, it's fairly complex and difficult to set up, especially for people without a lot of programming background. I've been doing this stuff for years, and it's a little difficult even for me to set up. Now, this can be a problem if you're using VB code to send email from an app like Microsoft Excel or Access. I show how to do this in my Access email seminar. You learn how to build an email server as part of your Access database, and that can send all of your emails out from anybody on your network to any SMTP server, including Gmail. Now, while you can no longer log into Gmail using your account username and password, you can still log on using a custom generated app password that's unique to your app. So you don't use your Google login, you use a custom app password instead. Let me show you how to set this up. So the first thing you'll do is go to the Google security page, log on to your account, obviously. Scroll down until you see two-step verification. All right, this setting will need to be on. So click right here to go from off to on. All right, read this stuff. It explains what two-step verification is. Basically, you'll need another form of identification to log on to your account, like your phone, for example. Click on Get Started. All right, give Google your password. First of many times. <laughs> now type in your phone number. If you've already put your phone number in your Google account, it should show up there automatically. And then pick Text Message, and it'll text you a code. Then on the next screen, you put the code in. And then hit next. Okay, so once that works and the code is good, now you can turn on two-step verification. Go ahead and turn that on. Okay, congratulations, you got two-step verification on. Now we're gonna go back to the security page. Click on that little arrow right there. I know it's not exactly self-explanatory. Took me a second to figure out where I was too. Hit that. Okay, now we got two-step verification on. Now we're going to set up an app password. So click right here where it says app passwords none. Give them your password one more time. Okay, so now we're going to pick what kind of app we want to create. Mail, calendar, contacts, YouTube, whatever. Pick mail. And then what kind of device are you connecting from? I'll pick Windows computer. And now hit generate. And there you go. There's your custom generated app password. Now you can come right here and click and drag and select all of that text. I know it looks like there's spaces in there, but there, there aren't. When you select all that, you can copy it, control C, and then paste it into your mail program. So for example, if you're using my access email seminar, you'll use your username right there, which is your, still your email address, and then your password goes right next to it, right there. No spaces. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So I hope this helps. I hope this uh, explains what you can do to still keep using your Access or your Excel or VBA program with Gmail. I know I've been using it myself for years. I wrote my email seminar probably 10 years ago, and that code has been working just great for me ever since. I send all of my email out through it from my Access database. I send my personal you know, one-on-one -on -one correspondence directly from the customer's record straight to you. It goes out through my Gmail, and then it comes right back in through my Gmail, and my system reads it in. And, um, and I also send my monthly bulk newsletters and stuff out through this as well. So this code works great. Got more information on my email seminar, there's a link on the bottom. I'll also put a link down below that you can click on. 
And I hope you learned something today. Again, this is Richard Ross with WindowsLearningZone.com. I've got some new Windows 11 classes coming out very soon. I'm going to be doing an upgrading to Windows 11 class. So if you are still using Windows 10 or an older version like 8, it'll show you the new features that are available in Windows 11. And I got some beginner Windows 11 classes coming out as well. For those of you who need something to send to grandma who needs help using her mouse and all that good stuff. So, so stay tuned. Lots of good stuff is coming. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.